Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, y'all. Okay, let me go ahead and get this out the way. Please do. We thank you all that have rocked out with us this entire season. This season of Greenleaf has been everything. Yeah. Every week, I don't know how it gets better and better, but it just brings you to a point where on that night you just sitting there like i'm ready for this show so thank you all for rocking out with us a whole yeah. we got a whole bunch of subscribers through this show and then a whole lot of you all have been following um been finding our vlog channel and we keep forgetting to tell y'all that we have a vlogging channel when y'all find it y'all be mad at us talking about so i didn't know y'all had a whole lifestyle channel we will have that link down in the description bar it's called life with us tv where we just chronicle our lives sometimes it's exciting sometimes it's not but yeah. you will see Pretty much what I what we do on a weekly basis, not every day, too, yeah, too much. Exactly. But let me tell you this: the title was "The New Life," and I know what they meant by that because I thought I was gonna have but, a new, I need a new life after this episode. But reading that, it could have went so many freaking different yeah. ways. But I'm gonna tell you what, Oprah, don't don't fucking play with me like that no more. Man, yeah. what you're not gonna do is play with me. Like this. Man, I'm still no. pissed off. Stan sat over there. He said, I don't know if I can take this right now, man. My whole countenance changed. It did, for real. The whole time I was like, uh, we ain't we ain't doing this. I'm calling Oprah. I'm calling Ava. All the producers, the writers, everybody. The two place in this and say, don't you fuck with me like this no more. I said, so what y'all, y'all gonna buck around with silver, silver throat? Huh? No. We're not doing this. Look, he may not be a perfect man, but he ah. Yeah, you you just ain't gonna kill him off like that, man. He so y'all, he don't affect too many people's lives, man. Yeah. So let me do the YouTube thing. If y'all are not a member of Calvary, y'all see they're trying to take our church from us. So y'all go ahead and hit that subscribe button to let them know that y'all ain't I, voting to go up a I'm new. I'm sorry to tell you, they don't took the church. <laughs> thumbs up, thumbs down. At this point, it don't even matter. You already been counted. Lord have mercy, like fucking that demon said, it fuck up the church's body. Said God don't harm and they hoped and took us over, man. We've man. been we've been acquired. That God don't name sound like a scam. Exactly. Harmony and hope. Yup. I ain't gonna say what it sound like. But um, Basie. So we went off last week where Basie had the gun up to Bishop, and we all thought, well, okay. He don't did all of this. At least what he gonna do is just pull the trigger. I mean, why you gonna come all the way this way? And, pull, and pull not, the gun and not, not pull the trigger. Pull yeah. the trigger. So we just knew that it was going to happen. But it didn't happen. Corinne actually walked in and he pointed the gun at Corinne. I was so like, Corinne nah, was like, bro, not Corinne. I said she ain't did nothing. She nah. been good at her job and everything. And she been taking a whole bunch of abuse from May to May and Maxine. Yeah. So just let the girl live. But told her, don't you go around there telling nobody and calling no cops. So then he turned the gun right back on Bishop and was like, listen, you ready to meet your maker? And Bishop was like, basically, do what you got to do. But he whispered something when he mumbled something. And we yeah. rewinded a few times, and we still don't know what the I heck he said. he said. But whatever it, he said, it touched Basie's heart to a point where Basie was like, Yeah, you going to serve the Lord, too. <laughs> <I> said, <laughs> it's like, what? what the fuck just happened? And where did he go? Like, he just kind of Yeah, because he didn't away. go he, he didn't go, the, he go at the main door. Yeah. I said, did he go to the bathroom? Where did he go? Yeah, I don't know what he slid it to. Well, by this time, Corinne had went around and told Lady May, said, listen, <laughs> basically try to kill your man. You need to figure this skit out. So they all run back there by this time. You know, Bishop is, he putting on his brave face. You know, I'm good. I'm good. Mm -hmm. You know, the Lord is good. I did, there ain't nothing wrong with me. And J they called Jacob and Jacob said, look, get the doctor over there. Check him out and all this good stuff. Because you know, it made his MS come back up. You know, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, he was all flustered. So... They checked him out, told him he needed to take a, you know, needed to have a rest and all that good stuff and whatnot. But what is going on over at the church, this really is the day of reckoning right here. <laughs> because as good as Lady May might think she had did, and as good as Bishop thought she had did, because Bishop told her, said, you know what? After what I felt up in that sanctuary and the Lord came through his holy temple, you can go ahead and have the church. Just go ahead. I said, oh, so it took a gun being pointed at you to get in the church. church. <laughs> so he, he went ahead and gave her the church. I got something to say about that. Go ahead. Just because, oh, no. just because you preached a good message don't mean that you ready to take over no church. Because the Lord uses who he want to let's, when he let, want to. Let's put it in a different term. 
just because you went to the club last weekend and tore the flow up and everybody was who who and they was rooting you on, don't mean that you ready to be Jay-Z them backup dancer, man. That, that's totally different, man. You had a moment. Yeah. But the Lord showed up on you. Yeah, you just had a moment. You just had a moment, but sustain that for all them years. So, May think that she read it. She thinks she read it to take over the church and whatnot, but, um... What's, what's the name of the place? Harmony and Hope. Harmony and Hope was like, oh, no, no, no. And Connie, no, 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 no. They was like, nope. What we gonna do, because they had sat there and told Gigi, listen, this is going to happen with or without your participation. But we are taking over the church. And either you can step up as interim pastor for one year to test the waters to see if this is what you permanently want to do. Or we're going to get him right here. Somebody that don't know none of y'all. To come on in here and take over the pulpit. So either way, your mom and your daddy is getting removed out of this pulpit today. <laughs> they was bluffing. Not really. They was bluffing. Let me tell you why they were bluffing. Because they couldn't afford not to have Gigi. Because they was going to lose majority of their congregation when Bishop and Lady May is gone. I don't care what petition they sign. You have too many people in there that's emotionally connected to them too. As soon as that last day, they say it's our last day, it would have been their last day too. But with the hope that Gigi gonna be the interim pastor gives them a little bit glimmer of hope that maybe Bishop then might come back and get in the podium. But if all of them had left, oh. It was me on the power. Yeah, it was a whole lot of people gonna leave which was gonna mess with their money. So, Gigi had actually went and talked to her mom. Well, they were kind of just having a, a talk period. Oh, she pissed me off. And it came up about, okay, because, you know, Lady May had this little moment where she was kind of gloating a little bit. And, you know, she was feeling herself of how well she felt like she did and all this. And Gigi is sitting there like, what you don't know is they trying to make me take your place. Mm -hmm. And them two... Got into it. Yep. Went once ass. again. Hey, go Gigi trying to trying to be a woman of integrity and let her know. So nothing we done behind her back. And she still ain't appreciate. She was like, oh, oh. So you didn't tell them no. You didn't tell them no, huh? Gigi said, I told them that I would pray about it. So then they went like this once again. And Gigi was like, bucket. Mom, me and Aaron took blood tests. She paused right in her got on track. Like, and Lionel is my father. So the first thing Lady May said, oh, so now you're going to run tell the bishop? You're going to run tell the bishop? She said, I ain't going to keep it no secret. Because you, you, know, you know that generation like you keep everything a secret. Don't tell. Know. What goes Don't. on in this house stays in this house. A whole lot of other people are sitting in the world messed up now because a whole lot of their skids on the rug that their mama, daddy, grandma don't want them to tell. See, this is the part that pissed me all the way off. Gigi was like, so you really don't give a buck about how this affects me, do you? No. So buck rats. my feelings. And Lady May was like, oh, so now you're going to walk around with the revelation of everything that I have done. My one mistake. You're going to just blast, basically blast it off the rooftops. I said, this ain't about you. This ain't about you. And like Gigi told her, you was the one that messed this up. In other words, I'm here because you messed up. And why are you taking this out on me? I said, oh my God. So long story short, y'all see what happened. They got into that meeting and that deacon boy meeting. <laughs> and Connie was sitting there. And what did she call her? Judas with a bad suit. Yeah, Judas with a bad suit on. <laughs> and she basically told Lady May, listen, I know you, you, you felt like you did a good message and everything. And even you have Bishop's blessing. That's cool and everything too. But we have these papers right here. We have partitions from um, the members. And a majority of them have signed that you and him need to retire full benefits and get the fuck out of here. Say to hell with your petitions, Connie. Because I know y'all strong on the members and the signing. And you told them exactly what you wanted to hear. Because most time members don't know what the hell going on behind closed doors in y'all you know. meetings. Unless y'all take it to them and tell them. So you you put a sour taste in their mouth about the bishop there. Probably outside of their presence when they weren't at the church. Huh. So Lady May went on and stormed on out of there. But Bishop remained in the meeting. And this is what he told Miss Connie. Uh-huh. He said, hmm. Yeah. He said that organization. 
they don't they they skim off the money off of all the churches that's up underneath them so basically you trying to make this church a part of the franchise okay exactly that's what you're trying to do but he said i also know that once that um contract is signed you're gonna get a very healthy check that's right so that's what it's about right there calvary is gonna get exactly what they deserve i said oh <laughs> oh, oh, that's that's one way to think about it, Bishop. You think you're gonna get better, huh? You're gonna get worse. And you're gonna get whoa, and they're gonna take all your money and don't give a fuck mm -hmm. they don't about care. you. They don't care you run up short on the electric bill and the water bill and all that stuff. They're gonna want their money off the top. Mm -mm. 10%. So, Bishop was in the office, you know, talking to Korean because that IRS stuff still ain't going nowhere, right? Matter of fact, it's back with Avengers. And Lady May walks up to him and was like, oh, so you're about to go to Percy's and, you know, get, get some, some rest? rest and all this. And he was like, yeah, something like that. What's up? And she was like, how about you come over to the house for dinner? I was like, no. And no. I'll cook. I no. said, here you go. No. No. Here you go. Sir. Here you go. See, when the moment you thought you had the church yeah, to well, hell with Bishop, but now that you found out it ain't yours and you're going to be by yourself. And then big time house. to cut it on back up. Bitch, you wanna come on back home? <laughs> Shawty pulled her pants to the side. Rich dad. He <laughs> told Bishop keep his feelings to the side. No, he told she told him bring your feelings back around to the front side. I said, oh, so this what we this this what we do. I told you what I told y'all was mm -hmm. gonna happen. Yep. Them motherfuckers ain't going nowhere. Ain't nobody gonna deal with them two buddy child. Exactly. We been told y'all folks reconcile like three weeks ago, man. So they sitting over there eating, well, I guess they were eating them. And Lady May went ahead and told Bishop, say, listen, I got to tell you something before Gigi come, come around here with her big mouth. I said, here we go. Just tell him. So she told him, she said, you know what? Lionel is Gigi's father. Bishop knew this skit. Yeah, he been Bishop there. knew this. His whole reaction and even how he was talking to Gigi on last week or how he was driving home the fact that regardless, you have been my daughter, you are oh, my wait, daughter, mm -hmm. and you are the one that always looks out for us. You yep. have a special place in my heart. I knew he drove that home last week for a freaking reason. Exactly. And it's because this week... He got the answer that he already had. Yeah. And that's probably why he treated her just a little bit more, a little, he put a little mm on it. Because mm. he knew. Yeah. He knew that she didn't belong to him biologically. But spiritually. But spiritually. <laughs> yeah. So Bishop will look at First Lady and say, do you think that's all it's going to take to push me away? He said, now we even. Now we even. That's I it. said, no, we not. No, wait, now what child did you get out of out of your family? No, no. She like no. she got one up on you, player. She's still winning on but this But I one. feel I see what you're saying. It's like you know what? Ain't nothing you can do to keep me from it. <laughs> I said the motherfuckers gonna get right on back together, right up in the house. Uh huh. And later on, we saw that was what happened. Well, come find out, Gigi, Daddy, look. Maybe I need to find out my daddy ain't my daddy and I got a real daddy at the last minute that leave me three million dollars. Like, darn. But listen, Mr. Lionel, let me read you. Yeah. In the grave. Yeah, go and read him his rights until he get it right. How the buck are you going to leave everything to Gigi, a daughter that you really don't know? Yep. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't have left her anything, but don't leave anything. Aaron would skit yeah. because you don't agree with his life. You don't agree with the way that he was created. What sense does that freaking make? None at all. None. Are we serious here, Lionel? And you tell he was hurt too. He tried to play it he off. Tried he tried to play hurt. it off. He was hurt. And Gigi was like, I'll, I'll give the money to you. I'll share the money. He was like, I don't need and it. He didn't, he didn't want me to have the money. I don't even want, I feel you. What? Uh, but I don't know. I might have took fifty thousand. You know, I would have took something. <laughs> Got something. You know, pay a couple really, of bills. Really, Yeah. That's bucked up. And even Jeezy was like, "That's that is kind of crazy for that happen coming from a man of God." Just as nasty as he could be. Yep. That's why he went to hell. 
That's why Lady May won't go give him the closure that he needed. <laughs> and say, and say, you gave it to the, you gave it to the daughter that she, that you didn't know, run around fornicating uh, while she was up there preaching. She messed what, with Noah. Dad, uh, Noah and uh, Noah Darius. get married. Uh -huh, Darius. Darius. Yeah, I would know where Darius and disappeared too. Huh. We thought they was working with um, what you call them? Put your cross but, but now. they had them put that together. So, um. It got all the way down to the fact that uh, Gigi had asked her dad and said, listen, daddy, I got this money right here. <laughs> I came into a lot of money. He was like, how you coming? Daddy, don't I even, just don't came even into some money. Just, do you, do you want him to pay off the IRS or what? Or not. <laughs> and he was like, you know him, he goes into his scriptures and his power, all that. Yeah, gotta be deep. And he was like, Gigi, you are my daughter. Not just, you're not biologic, basically, but spiritually, you are mine. Yeah. And look, the name stays home. You are green leaf. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, and that's all it took for her. She was like, okay. Mm -hmm. It was that's all good. to the God don't good. Am I missing anything? Basically. But he still ain't never saying if you're going to take that money in there. He's going to take that money. He's going to need to. And get rid of my arrest problem. So, they over there at Triumph, their captain will call Jacob, basically. They flushing them out the church. They too. got fired too, man. God, and guess what happened when they got flushed out the church? Their marriage got better over there too. Yup. I, I said, said everybody go. losing their churches and the marriages I coming back together. But see, now, 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 now. <laughs> see the thing with Car Carissa, see, she was pissed off at the law for when she heard about Harmony and Hope and what, what the name was, um, Duncan, what the name is. What oh, is Tech, Tech, Tech. Somebody. Whatever it, it is, the dude that's, I want to say, he got a lot of money. A lot of money. Come and with, and with them coming in, it's going to be a great opportunity for us. 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 Now, go ahead and pull my panties to the side. <laughs> On the table that they get ready to eat them. Yep. That Zori them is getting ready to come back. <laughs> so, I'm saying, like, okay. So, then Basie, Basie is trying to still call Keisha Cross. I mean, um, Keith Coast Keith Coast 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 getting them mixed up now. And trying to get her to come to Mexico. And she was like, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. but I'm like, baby, you talking too much. She talking about some, I got, I'm cutting a deal with the FBI. I said, you know, that's a way for you to come up stinking. Yeah, because like what you telling him, he, and he's so caught up in Mexico, he didn't even hear FBI. I said, so he just told me, she was like, basically, why do you want me? Because you fine, you mine, you my woman. Come on, girl. I got plenty of money. Now he in the liquor store talking about how the Lord gave him a number. I yeah. said, <laughs> basically, if you don't stop this booze skip, and then he ran into one of the dudes that I believe he was gambling with. Yeah, I think he owed him money to them dudes. I think that was that dude. He get in the car with Kusha Cross and told her to basically floor it. Drive. And they pulled off behind him, and we ain't seen them since. So we know that's about to come back up. Oh, yeah. Basically, oh, yeah. Hopper's probably going to be the one that ended up stinking. They better end up going to Mexico right now. They better head there because them guys will take, will take them out. Uh-huh. So, we over at Triumph. I mean, not Triumph, Calvary. Now, this is a... I mean, at this point, Bishop has agreed. Listen, I don't went through too I'm much done. skin. I'm done. I'm done. So they basically are going to go ahead and retire out. And Gigi has a plan that although they're going to have to come underneath of this ministry for the time being, they're going to get their church back and they're going to come from underneath for this organization. I said it ain't going to be as easy. It ain't going to be easy because you sign a contract, you know, you lease there for a year. So he went ahead and did his last message. And basically, he was talking about Moses, and y'all know this. Y'all should know the story about Moses. Yeah. How, basically, I could take you all the way to victory, but I may not be able to go my God to myself. So basically, that's what he preached about. I'm, I, I'm showing you. I've walked you as far as I can walk you to, but I'm not gonna be able to continue to go where y'all go. And Joshua, aka my daughter Gigi, gonna take y'all the rest she of the way. Won't take you. The rest of the God doing way. And as he was doing as much, I said, Bishop ain't looking too sharp. What's yeah, because his start, face started like twitching and, and started the, falling down like, you know, I like said, he was acting throat. his hind parts off. Yeah. And I said, hold on. And so they was like, 
And next thing we know, he's going John, down. I said, down. no. I said, mm-mm. No, mm -mm, no. Mm -mm, then mm -mm. he opened up his mouth and said, I had a vision. I had a vision. That this is my last day on earth. I said, no, it's not. And this is how I was No, it's not. That's the, that's the devil that's yeah. telling you that. I said, y'all better bring in tongues. No. The perfect prayer. No. Because what we ain't doing is taking Bishop out of here. I no. was all messed up. I was, I like, was no, messed up. No. And I kept no. saying, this didn't happen. This didn't no. happen. And they kept drawing, and I said, wait, where yet? I kept looking behind people. I'm like, yeah, like, wait, no, no. Then they had on all that black, I'm like, no. I said, no, we ain't, on. no, we ain't fit to do this right here. I said, what I'm not gonna do is pack up my ham, my tater salad, my my uh, meatballs, and take them to the repass over huh. there at the guy doing all. Uh, oh, I would say, well, Oprah, what y'all ain't fitting to do is have me depressed while I'm trying to enjoy my Thanksgiving dinner. I was done. Grieving the bishop and like, no, uh uh. Well, like most of his visions, it was wrong. Yeah. Because <laughs> his time parts ain't going nowhere. They end up having a dinner, bringing the family back together, and basically. Which was beautiful. Beautiful. They had to lose in order to win their family back. That's right. They had to come from underneath a ministry mm -hmm. in order to do their real ministry. Yeah. Family. Family. I said that was a message all in itself. Because when they come to find out, their real family is always going to be there. But the church family. They will kick you to the side. Kick you to the side. Quickly. Because what kind of say, we've been putting up with your skip for 40 years. We need to change. Wait a minute. If he was that bad for 40 years, why did you keep him for 40 years? That's like saying my husband was whooping my tail for 40 years. 40 years. And I stayed. No, 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 no. That's something no. wrong with you. But yeah, like, something wrong with him too. But it's something wrong with you. Cause you can nah. laugh. So yeah, yeah. I, I I was I I was man I was messed up for a good little minute. But that was then at that table and Bishop came around that court. I said Hallelujah. I said Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, I was like Yeah. So the the powerful message is right here for y'all. Is get ready to have some family over for Thanksgiving. You got some cousins, some aunts, some uncles, some people that you ain't talking to. Matter of fact, y'all been mad at each other for years or even months or weeks huh they already to get it right just like uh bishop told gg or told lady may that you need to mend that relationship with your daughter uh -huh. you need, i ain't coming back until you do that yeah so yeah you need to make that right man because at the end of the day you ain't got nothing but your family that's what that's who's gonna be there for Real you talk. through thick and thin that's who's gonna be there you ain't got to believe me today but one day you will <laughs> Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla. Holla.